This is BioBits. True stories, challenges, and triumphs of global gems who have elevated themselves to success. These are real people, real stories. Hi, my name is Bert Oliva. In this episode of BioBits, we are featuring Nancy Matthews. Who is Nancy Matthews? I am Nancy Matthews, and I'm a speaker, an author, a business advisor, a coach. I'm a woman on a mission to support others in living their dream lives, to take that moment of a dream that they have, to work with them and give them the courage and the tools to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to pay attention to that dream. I'm going to take it to the next level. I'm also the founder of Women's Prosperity Network, along with my two amazing sisters. How cool is that? I get to work with my sisters, Trish Carr and Susan Winner. And Women's Prosperity Network was started in 2008. We now have locations all over the country. It's the most rewarding, fulfilling community of women who are there to support each other and going for their dreams and visions in a big way. What five words describe you? Five words to describe me. Visionary, passionate, spiritual, go-getter, and persistent. Where do you want to take your business? Where we're taking Women's Prosperity Network is even more global than we already are. My goal and my mission and my vision is that through having conversations that ordinary people just don't have, conversations about prosperity and abundance, conversations about marketing, social media, just keeping women in this communication process will open them up to receiving everything that they want. And through that, they're building relationships like they've never built before. They're building their businesses like they've never built before, and they're having fun. Who have been some of your influential mentors? My mentors and coaches, most of them were men when I started. My call to action, my passion and purpose really was awakened at an event where a male speaker said, we need more women who are speakers and we need more women who are women acting like women, not women acting like men. And I don't know what happened, but in that moment, something stirred in my belly and I shot out of my chair and I said, that's me. So part of our mission with WPN, we're about growing leaders. I want the people that I work with to go past me and do even better than I have. And keeping a mentor that allows you to get out of the, the picture. Les Brown has a phrase and he says, you can't see the, the frame when you're in the picture. And that's what a good coach and mentor will help you do. What is your ideal client? So the women that come to Women's Prosperity Network are women who are wanting to pave a way for themselves. They come looking for networking and they stay because of the connections, relationships, and personal and professional development that we provide. How have you overcome your challenges? Failure is just part of the process. It's just part of the journey. And I remember when I did one of my very first speaking engagements, I come home and I, my son was there. He was about 20 at the time. And he's like, how'd it go, mom? And I went, it's terrible, I failed. And he looked at me and he said, well, what do you mean you failed? It's like, I didn't do good. Nobody wanted what I was selling. And I just felt terrible about it. And he said, well, are you quitting? You're gonna do another seminar, aren't you? And I was like, well, yeah. He says, well, then you haven't failed. So as long as you don't quit, you really don't fail. It's just learning opportunities. I was approached by a couple of other women who were starting a women's seminar company and they invited me to be involved. We're traveling all over, all building up to this huge event where 500 people are gonna magically show up. We're going through this process, I'm spending money like water. Go to the event in California and 50 people showed up, not the 500. As I flew home on the red eye that night, I could have felt like a failure and instead it caused me to innovate because I knew that the people I was talking to wanted something different. So that's my mission and my goal every day is to serve people better than anyone else ever does. And if you want success, that's what you'll do too. What would you tell your seven-year-old self? I would tell my seven-year-old self to not be afraid to be yourself, to not hide behind the fear of what other people will think of you. I spent too many years stifling my voice because I was afraid of judgment and what other people might say. Trust that if you've got a voice, there's something that you want to express that you're meant to express it as long as it's expressed with love and consideration for others. Who would you eavesdrop on? If I could eavesdrop on someone, it would be, ooh, that's a juicy one. 
I would eavesdrop on Bruce Springsteen in the recording studio coming up with a song. It's that creative process, so I would eavesdrop on that process because I know he's tapping into a higher power when he does it. What is The One Philosophy? I'd like to share with you a little bit about my most recent book, which is called The One Philosophy. I woke up one morning and I thought, oh, I've got this really exciting meeting today. I'm gonna meet the one who's gonna open up all these new clients that I'm gonna get, or the one who's gonna get me on a TV show, or the one who's gonna help me meet Bruce Springsteen, because that's one of my goals and dreams. And after that, I thought to myself, I wonder what would happen if I started to treat each and every person that I meet as if they are the one. And I realized that when you treat each and every person you meet as if they are the one, you become the one for them. So get out there in the world and treat other people as if they are the one and watch all the ones appear who are meant to be on your path to support you living your purpose and your goals and your visions. I really hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we enjoyed making it for you. If you know of anyone that should be featured in one of our shows, please do not hesitate in contacting us. And please don't forget to subscribe, repost, forward, share. Do whatever it is that you do to help us change the lives of over 100 million people in a positive way. I'll see you soon.